Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Lone from Night Owl Central, and we're going to be playing Stalker Clear Sky. Um, this is the prequel to Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, and it's a really good game. Um, it's got its own little twists and turns, things that are different, um, because this is actually a couple, I think it's a couple years or a couple months before um, Stalker and Shadow of Chernobyl even around so there's there's less technology and there's uh, different uh, systems the way that the um, just the whole game really kind of just works in general um, another thing that I'd like to talk about is that here on the bottom we have the taskbar as you can tell it's gonna be different from my other videos because uh, with what I'm using to actually record it um, it doesn't, I just, I had to use it so that I'm projecting the full screen and not just specific windows. So, with that being said, we are going to jump into a new game on the hardest difficulty, which is Master, and we will get right into it. From what I remember, because again, same with the other game with Shadow of Chernobyl, I have not played these in a while, but I do remember key differences between each game. Like, I remember. Oh. actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. No shit, that's me. That look dead, straight up dead. That's probably what they're talking about. Hello. You're awake. That's good. Wait, wasn't it just dark? I thought I was waking up beforehand. What? Welcome back to the world of the living, stock. How are you feeling? My head is splitting and spinning too, basically, in real good shape. Do you remember what happened to you? Okay, I remember leading an expedition through the swamps, a bunch of scientists, then the emission, that's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? Why does it look so much like the sun? <laughs> <laughs> in the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky. And you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. No, oh, I guess I got lucky then. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. 
The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs. But our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Or bird. Budskis. You don't gotta fucking salute me, man. What the hell? Surreal? Oh, I think it's just like some, like, some abnormal hero or some bullshit. Okay. Alright. Um, talk to the barman. Or... Whoa, I forgot. This doesn't look anything like it. Um, so I'm a mercenary. A mercenary Scar is my name. Uh, I got an AK already. Basic leather jacket. Radiation protection, side protection, fire, and then poison? Acid protection, okay. Radioactive contamination, okay. That's my armor, health, and running stamina. Else, M. Oh, fuck with that. Right, so E. Anything for me to grab? Uh, it does not look like it. I don't even think I can bring my weapon out. It's probably because I'm in the stalker, quote unquote, stalker area. And it's in the very beginning, so I should probably. I don't even know. Okay, well. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. Uh, I've seen all types of folks in the zone. Some come here chasing their dreams, some in search of the zone wonders. Some are just looking for loot. Why does clear sky study the zone? People are mistaken in their belief that they what? understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be or indeed are completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. So what is this? Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. Mm, if that is all, I better get back to my work. I don't know much about the lore of this game, besides what I've learned inside it, and I just got like a weird thing, like, what if Clear Sky is actually Look not alive? got visiting our swamps. You sure are a wit of friend. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of a gun. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. I just died of curiosity. Oh, there's not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when the mission did. I remember nothing after that. I regained my consciousness, consciousness here, so you tell me what happened. Well, then, you drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah. It wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. 
But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. How did you I end up collecting here? bottles one after another and they led me here. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. The truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. They didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Word. Um, about this place, can you give me a clue as to where we are? In our base. As you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. I'm no stranger to the zone, yet I've never heard about Clear Sky. How do you, how do things work well? You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. He knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray, and he can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Call. He knows what Leave stuff is going with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on. I'll catch you later. Okay, we're bird. Well, I guess we got some got some good info, you know. Talk to this guy. I think that's the scientist that he's talking about. Ah, it's you. Oh, this is, is that him? Yeah. Being bird. Oh, is he downstairs? Yeah. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. Why are you hiding? As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone. Determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. What was so peculiar about it? We've had emissions before. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now, you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, Many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all 
is that you managed to survive it. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. I see. How can I help you? I'd better leave. I'm pretty beat up, but I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. What are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. This is the second yeah, outpost. Your we're experience can save we're the lives of Help. many of my... That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Great. Get over to the trader, and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Roger that. Hello there. Hello. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. Yeah, I'm down. Alright, this You have my full attention. I'm ready. Let go. Right. Nothing. Okay. Is there a map? the outpost. It's over here. Okay, so how do I... Just drop me off here. But oh shit. What's this radiation? Oh shit, I'm about to die. Oh shit. Okay. So I got back to where we were, and I'm not gonna mess around now. Mark, there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. All right. Yeah. Easier said than done. Okay. Oh, 
detector spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. Oh. Got some fresh air? And no, I give me this is the second outpost. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! That's enough chit chat. There's great. Trader, a fighter is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. Roger that. If it's at last. Here, I be. What you need? Get my time. 
pack. Try those. Run for the tower! The monsters can't get you there! Only one left. You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point where our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Wait, wait. Don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. Okay. Why do emissions occur this often? A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. Okay. Someone got past the scorcher. What risks does this pose for the zone? It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith. Others say the wish granter. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the Scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the Brain Scorcher. Is there a real way to pass the Scorcher, even a theoretical chance? I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. What is the danger of such frequent emissions? I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. Prevent the disaster? You're not even strong enough to fight off bandits. You're right. But we do know how to prevent the disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. 
Lots of confidence you got there, so what's the plan? We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. And why are you telling me this of all people? There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. Not sure I want to jump right into the thick of things. Why do I have to take part in this? I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie. But you really don't have a choice. Looks like my options are pretty limited. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Yes. Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. That'll be fine. How do I reach the Kordon? Through the swamps, of course. How else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Good bird. Understood. Alrighty then. Nice, they're all green now. Wait a minute, reaching the Grape Swamps is easy. Our guides will lead you out, but if you want to actually survive there, you need to learn them. the current tactical situation and PDA's new features, so if you're curious about any of that, just ask. Hey, this is Nimble. Oh, I saved you. Later. What's the tactical situation like? In a word, shit. In two, deep shit. Our fighters can hardly hold the Great Swamps. They're being constantly pushed back by bandits and monsters. The enemy simply outnumbers us. So what must be done to, control, to gain control over the swamps? Reduce the enemy's numbers, or to put it simply, shoot down as many as possible if there's the are shooting at us. If we don't, our fighters will have no chance to secure the swamps. Uh, okay, what are you doing here? I'm trying to get some rest, selling pieces of information. The guys bring me, consulting our valiant leader. You see, we guys... Clear skies, eyes, and ears in the swamp. Tell me about my PDA's new features. Your main guide is the objective section. Your main objective is displayed here, together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Most objectives are also displayed on the map, with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy, but also capturing key positions. In these situations, our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. And this is our equipment supply. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission, as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions, as well as each faction's combat strength. 
Your personal stats are also displayed here. That's pretty much it. Word. What can you offer me? The loot you'll find in the black backpack under the boulders is now yours. Let's consider the transaction settled. How much is that going to set me back? 200. Agreed. Boom. Exit. Alright. Well, I'm going to kind of explore this place a little bit more. Um, how can I help you? I need something. Okay. Um, Turn item, PMM. While out on a night on a night mission, a clear sky squad ran into a boar layer. It's probably too late to save the men, but the squad commander had a modified PMM. Vista will be useful to the faction to turn it. Yeah. Alright. And how can I help you? Deliver items. Alright, I'll deliver some ammo. Okay. Now, how can I help you? Deliver items. Молодец, мастер. Okay. Uh, help you deliver items? Okay. Okay. Trader and deliver some items. Hello there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? Neither, unfortunately. I got hit by an emission and barely survived. Totally empty now. The emission seems to have scattered all my goodies all over the swamp. Yes, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, so long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? Yeah, yeah, even at the swamps is a hush-hush joy like this one. There's a place for a trader, what do you know? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere. Even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed. And think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa. But it's officially forbidden, prohibited, and all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and everybody's happy. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, your best bet is to try to buy it off them. <laughs> I see, except it seems to me that your business isn't doing so well. Yeah, well, let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there, but the best tidbits pass this place by. I haven't had a unique item in my store for ages. Why the limited selection? Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last your lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there and then. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. You aren't the only ones looking in that direction. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Listen, I told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. You got something for me? Nice. You got something in me? No. Good luck. Bye. Okay, Deal. Okay. Um, let's look at message log, map. Okay. Deliver items. Okay, you need to capture and hold the objective indicated, the pump station. You need to return the PMM and capture the old church. Okay. 
still get used to this thing. Alright, factions, wars, statistics, this is what Want to trade? Have a safe trip. Do you have any actual money? Zero. Okay. Radiation negative two. Jellyfish. I actually might want that. So we sell this thing. What? 30? For real? Пускайте глубже или держите дольше. Дно мутно. Блин, это не смешно. Maybe he wants me to sell him. No, I can't sell him. I'm very confused. Welcome back. What's new, bro? And you're offering me a secret stash of money. Selling them all down the river. How much is that going to set me back? Three hundred. Well, next time you're at the swamps, don't be a stranger. All right, well, um, oh, no, wait, I should go check out this dude. How's it going, Mr. Fixit? See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. If we do get a hold of something, it's about to fail anyway, and there ain't shit around to use for spare parts. That's why I'm having to adapt whatever I find and use it as best I can. Only last week I needed to make a radio receiver. What do you think I use for parts? That's right, a goddamn fridge! <laughs> I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Huh, <laughs> this isn't no walk in the park. Yeah, there ain't much to get excited about around here. Not like the garbage. I heard they dug up old Soviet caches. After the accident at the Chernobyl MPP, they sent convoys there with contaminated vehicles and equipment and all sorts of other crap. They thought it was all waste because it was radioactive. That was then. Nowadays, nobody would even call that radiation. So there's a real gold rush going on there. Stalkers are flocking over there from all over the zone to dig for loot. It's a pity not much of it filters through down here, unless Lebedev sends the boys to pick up specific components. How are things going for you personally? Nothing special. I repair and upgrade weapons and suits. Basically, I do whatever needs getting done. If you need something fixed, I'm your man. Yeah, sure. If I could get a few spare parts, I would make the guy some real nice toys. Weapons, armor, equipment, i take them all to a whole new level. Remember, if you bump into something useful, bring it here, and I'll do it all real nice. That's a promise. Lord Bird, you got any work for me? Alright. Uh, I gotta find upgrade Viper 5. 
Found in, find information about barrel modification 1125 rules. Oh, barrel modification. Okay, cool. Leather jacket, find more information about Kevlar body armor. 1K, Viper 5. Find more information about muzzle brakes. Okay, I bring whatever I find. Do you get anything else to fix? Come to me for oh, help. Oh, damn. Okay, and you can fix weapons. Okay. What's up? Found information about upgrades you're looking for. 1K. Boom. Alright, bye. To be What's up? Well, good luck. I don't know how I'm supposed to deliver them stuff. Look what's new, bro. What can you offer me? I will reward you with information about a valuable but tough piece of meat. Keep, your, keep on your toes, though. Its previous owner failed to heed my advice. How much is that going to set me back? 200. It's actually in there. No idea. Agreed. Alright, cool. What can you offer me? In that case, here are coordinates of a case with some loot. You'll find it behind the trash bin near the wall. Is that going to sit back? 200. What's actually in there? No idea. Agreed. What can you offer me? I won't burden you with my storage. You'll find the stash in the safe under the bridge. How much is that going to sit back? 600. What's actually in there? No idea. Agreed. Right, cool. Stop by for a chat anytime. Alright, I'm so actually boring. down with that. Okay. In next time. Старые молодые долговцы идут по зор. А поновее ничего нету. Ну ты выдал. Нашему начальству все не имется в последнее время. А поросок вот хватает. Стволов тоже. Чего им еще? This guy, if that were true, and the guy that I'm looking at right now, he needs 9 by 18 millimeters three times that. He needs three sets. I'm gonna trade you that. You're with us again. Want to trade? trade. Have a safe trip. Times that, so maybe this will actually do it. Hey, I brought what you asked for. Nice. How can I help you? You can't. Nice. Alright, so I finally from here got a roll. Now I get rewarded. Visitor, want to trade? Got something for me? 1K. Good luck to you. Okay. Want to trade? trade. Have a safe trip. Yeah. I'm gonna get 150. Man. Man. Let's just get 50. I don't even have a gun. Oh, just 50. And so then the rest of these guys need 
Okay, they need AK rounds three times. Find the upgrade. Okay, cool. Right. And then return the item. So we gotta go over here. Oh shit, the renegades are targeting the fishing hamlet. So we're gonna, they're attacking. We gotta take the old church, we gotta take that. We gotta get all of our fucking stash points that we bought. But that's gonna be for the next episode. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe and comment your thoughts. Stay tuned for episode.